but very quickly, this is an important uh, opportunity for us to say thank you to the community of Lexington. This is a, uh, an exciting opportunity for AARP and Age Friendly Lexington to participate in this effort. So I am just going to suspend any further ado and I just wanted to uh, welcome Monica Conrad to the podium um, with Lexington Fayette Urban County Government Parks and Recreation. Thanks, Bob. I do. Thank you. Thank you and good morning and welcome to Idle Hour Park and Lexington Senior Center. Um, we are so proud to have worked with Lexington Senior Center and to have gotten this amazing grant from AARP. Uh, this livability grant adds these raised garden beds to our park. Um, it also adds conversational benches that we're going to be unveiling here in a few moments and uh, just a tremendous improvement to our park. Thank you all for being here this morning. To, to Scott's comments, I'll definitely be brief. Um, I would like to take a moment to recognize uh, the team from Parks and Recreation who make these things possible, as well as the senior citizens uh, team as well. Um, I would also like to take a moment to introduce our wonderful mayor, Jim Gray, who allows these partnerships to happen in the city. Um, they allow them to happen in the park and between many branches of government. <clears throat> Just to punctuate what Monica said, uh, it's wonderful to be out here to look, you know, let's turn our heads and see that extraordinary facility, our seniors center. Yep, that deserves a clap, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah there we go, okay. Um, and what all it represents, and here at Idle Hour Park, where we have so many amenities, um, our pickle, <clears throat> we've got our playground, walking trail, pickleball courts, football, baseball, softball fields, shuffleboard courts, and today, thanks to AARP, we're dedicating these new raised beds and the benches along the half mile trail right here in the park. It's uh, a delight on behalf of the Department of Social Services to join this celebration this morning. I want to thank Scott and the AARP family for being a part of our family at the Urban County Government. I also want to thank Monica and her staff at Parks and Recreation. I know it's a cool morning, but uh, pretty soon these benches, these flower beds will be an a asset to what we're doing here at the Senior Center in Idle Isle Park. It brings multi-generational vitality. It brings folks into this park, and for that we're very excited. So congratulations everybody, and we look forward to being a continual support. Uh, it's such an honor and privilege to be here today and, and you know this probably uh, would not have happened without the vision and the leadership of your great mayor. Let's give him a big hand. Yeah. <laughs> and on behalf of our 470,000 members across our state, uh, we again say thank you to your city and for all those partners that helped uh, make this a uh, reality today because without partners we know uh, things would not get done, and we appreciate all the partners. Recently, I was at Biltmore, and Mr. Vanderbilt had a vision. In the early 1900s, he had a pool, he had bowling, he had an exercise room, and he had gardens. He had benches to sit on at the beautiful Biltmore estate. And now, 100 years later, Lexington is stepping to the plate and becoming an age-friendly city. There's 200 of these across our nation that are becoming age-friendly, and that means from stroller to walker, it's an age-friendly city, and I salute you for that. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Two, three. Yeah. All right.